I really, really wish that <laughs> we had done it sooner because now I just realized we were basically training her to go to the bathroom in diapers for two years. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and like and share. Today I'm going to be talking about elimination communication, which is basically giving your baby slash babies, in our case, I'm doing this for twins, the opportunity to use the potty outside of their diaper. They actually give signals and cues all the time, just like they give cues when they want to eat or they're tired. They also give cues for when they want to use the toilet and potty as well. So I really, really, really wish that I had done this with our first daughter, Safia, who's now three years old. We potty trained her starting when she was two. And I really, really wish that <laughs> We had done it sooner because now I just realized we were basically training her to go to the bathroom in diapers for two years, then teaching her how to use the, t the potty. And I wish we had just been, you know, teaching her how to use the potty from birth because they are totally capable of doing it. So I have little Rumi here with me today, my little model. I had heard about elimination communication. Probably, I guess it was after I had Safia, I started hearing about it. It always just sounded too complicated and they, they made it sound so easy, but I always thought, no, I think that's just too difficult and, and it just sounds like an extra step that I didn't feel like taking on, along with being a new mother, of course. So yeah, I just never took the opportunity to do it. So, but when I started hearing more about it, um, and I listened to a couple podcasts on it, I was like, okay, maybe, maybe we should try it with the twins. The faster we can get out of diapers, the better. I d do not like using diapers. I don't know anyone that does. The thought of being able to have babies completely out of diapers by the time they're like one, even two years old, um, when generally potty training starts, just sounds like an absolute dream to me. Basically, I just went ahead and I bought this potty, which is called a top hat. I will put the link below for this. This was the most important step in this entire process. No joke. I didn't need to even really know how to do it. I just needed to to make this purchase and the rest sort of just fell into place. The babies were in diapers for the first week. You can do it from right from birth, but the first week was really, really hectic with twins. And then I remember kind of like seeing this, it was still like wrapped in its like plastic wrapper, like sort of in our bedroom. And I thought, oh man, are, am I gonna do that or not? There was a part of me that was like scared to start it because I was worried it was gonna be really difficult. And then I just took the chance basically. I remember I was actually specifically with Rumi here. She was on the bed. I listened to one of the podcasts again by go I think it's called go diaper free something like that so I literally listened to like two minutes of it and it was like you know make sure to watch for baby's cues right at that moment Rumi started giving me some cues which she was like she had some gas so I thought okay maybe this is a cue I just took off her diaper she's we're doing disposable diapers it's just so much easier with twins right now I can't even think about having any more laundry at this moment so we're using the hello bello diapers I actually really like them and, but I figure we're using less of them because we are doing the, the elimination communication. So I don't feel as, as guilty, but I basically took her diaper off. I just placed her like this and I went, now she's probably gonna do it now that I'm doing the cue, but we go, hmm, hmm, hmm. And then that's for poo. And then for pee, it's sss. I usually do both. Cause at this stage, I'm still kind of trying to figure out like what it is that they need to do. But I have a pretty good idea of when they need to go poo now and what the difference is but at that point i just did both um signals um which is hmm 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 and then sss, and she's maybe now gone in her diaper but oh well so yeah i just did that um put her on the potty did that and she went poo immediately within like two seconds after i did the signal um and i was like oh my god <laughs> It was like the most incredible feeling ever. So I was like, okay, I'm sold. 100% sold, this is it, I'm doing this, that's it. And then from there, so yeah, they were two weeks old um, when I s initially started it. 
and uh, yeah, she was two weeks old. I was sold in that moment, that was it. I was completely gone. It was like the most satisfying experience. It just felt so right to have them go, her go on the potty and not in her diaper, sitting in her own excrement. It just feels so wrong now when I think about it. Um, and it, you know, it just makes so much sense to have them go on here especially because they're in a squatting position, um, which is easier for them to go. Imagine trying to like lie on your back and go pee and poo. Like it just doesn't, it just, yeah, it doesn't, I wouldn't want to do that. So, um, so yeah, they, it's, they go in the perfect position and it just is, it's so, 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 so easy. Yeah. I started doing the same thing with Elio and she started going really easily right away. We even have a routine now. I give them the opportunity to go first thing in the morning and you know, 90% of the time they go. And if they don't, it's not a big deal. That's a really big thing for me is I don't want to get stressed out about it. It's not about being perfect. It's not about catching every single poo and every single pee. For me, it's really about um, being chill about it. If I catch a poo, it's the best feeling in the world. If I catch some peas, that's amazing too. Like I said, I'm sort of still like learning some of their cues. Once they've been fed and they've slept and they're still sort of fussing a little bit, like making like sort of more like this sort of movement, like, oh, and making this particular noise. Um, and they're sort of a little bit fussy and moving around. I give them the, the opportunity, or as we like to call it, the potter-tunity. Give them the potter-tunity to go on the toilet. Maybe they have to go, and guess what? A lot of the time they do. Another one is every time I change their diaper, I give them a potter-tunity. Most of the time, they go pee. It's really rare that they don't, um, so it's pretty awesome. And that's basically the easiest way to go about it, and then you're like less likely to be following their looking for their cues because it's like mo they usually have to go when you change their diaper. A great way to get them to go, especially if you want them to go poo, is you can just hold them like this. I go like this and then I breastfeed like this and they usually like to go while you're breastfeeding. Apparently the sucking sensation um, helps them release and go to the bathroom, makes them feel more comfortable and relaxed. So that's another really great way to get them to go. I mostly rely on giving them the potternities. Like it's really just about giving them the opportunity to go. I definitely don't catch every single pee. Most poos I do catch just because their, their, their cues are so much stronger. The easiest time to start the EC elimination communication is within the first three months. Um, that's you're setting yourself up for success. If you can, you know, solidify, um, I had to do it within the first three months because their cues are much, much stronger. Once they become busier, it's harder to catch their cues. You know, when they start crawling and, and walking and talking, it can become a little bit more difficult apparently. So I, and obviously we haven't gotten to that stage yet. Um, but yeah, I'd say start the sooner the better. They are so, so smart. They know exactly what they're doing. They are giving their cues just like they're letting you know that they're hungry and that they're tired and that they, you know, want to be held, all those kind of things. They are giving the cues on um, that, they, that they need to use the potty. If you don't pick up on the cues, eventually they stop giving them. So if you just, you know, if we just keep them in diapers is sort of the norm, then they stop giving the cues eventually. So it's really important to start within those first three months. You can of course start later. I heard, I've heard of people starting around six months, but it's a little bit more difficult um, because they've stopped giving the cues when you stop picking up on them. I've actually just recently bought the next step of the potties. So it's this one. I actually have two of them. I have one for upstairs, one for downstairs, and this is like the next level. This can actually be used until they're two years old. It's called the baby potty, and I'll put this in the link below as well. And this is just the next step, and, and you're supposed to start using this one once they can hold their heads up, but I just was like so, I'm so, so, so excited about doing it that I was like, I just wanna order them now and, and so that we have it when they are ready to start holding their heads up. This is good till they're two years old so they can actually just, when they start walking, they can walk over and go to the potty themselves when they have to go, which is just unbelievable. I'm so excited for that. Now that I'm really starting to tune into it, I can even kind of pick up on like their breathing changing and I just know, like I, I'm like, oh my God, they're gonna poo right now. We have to put them on the potty right now. So it's pretty freaking awesome. While we're still using this one, this is, we can also start using this as well, which just goes on top of the toilet. If you're curious about it, I would say 
absolutely try it. And like I said, first things first, just buy one of these and give it a shot and you'll see how easy it is. Cause it's literally just, they know what to do. All you have to do is give them the opportunity to do it. What do you have to lose? Give it a shot. It is amazing. It feels so good. It feels really good for them. And you're saving diapers and hopefully in the long haul, um, saving yourself a really big headache on having to potty train them later on. So it's, it's a win-win situation. And I would say, give it a shot. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this week's video. Please hit that magical little subscribe button and like and share. Ciao for now. Ciao.